Hey everyone, my name is Simon Amkisi of Simon Chisti, and today we are going to be doing a leak code question and this leak code question is called Maximum number of balloons, so given a string text you want to use the characters of text to form as many instances of the word balloon as possible and you can use each character in the text only once, you know you can't duplicate, the, like you can't have five O's and you want to return the maximum number of instances that can be formed. So, okay, in this scenario, we have this string, and you, you, can, you can output one balloon, basically. I don't understand the... Oh, it's saying B-A-L-L-O-O-N. The red stuff is just showing the characters it's used. Um, okay, and it's basically an anagram, and they're saying you can form two from this. So I've already done this. Um, can, this was fairly fast and uh, it's a one-liner in Python but I'll, I'll go over how you can do it you know in a more traditional coding sense without using a one-liner because Python has um, a nice way of doing it. So you basically want to check the number of occurrences of each letter and you want the minimum occurrence except for L and O because for every to for balloon for it for you to have the number of characters um for every B there's one A. Yeah and for every N there's one A so 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 on and so forth. But for L and O you have two two L's per A and you have two O's per A. So the ratio is 2 to 1 in that scenario so you're going to just in order for you to get from 2 to 1 you just all you do is divide it by 2 or you times it by a half so in this scenario all you have to do is you just check the count and you um, you would check the count of L's you check the count of O's and you divide it by 2 uh, you do an integer division because um, that's you know you don't want any um, decimals here so I also want to reduce that so I can type this all in one line. Um, okay, so I will type out the code. So you have the min of, say you have the count of B, and you would want the count of A, and then the count of... So this is where it gets uh, into the whole interdivision thing. You want to divide it by 2 here, and then you do s.count A, and then s dot count n. So that's it. That's all. all that's one liner. But I'll, I'll go into how to do this in like a, a traditional sense as well. Oh, I didn't. I didn't put a return. Let's do that. Silly me. Um. What? Oh, I didn't uh, divide this by two. So you need to divide, you know, each one by two, and that is fairly fast. Um, you've got 24 for for the same thing before, but um, it depends. Sometimes it just runs faster. Um, so that's one way of doing it, but, you know, not all coding languages have a count function built in like that. So there's a more programmatical way you can do this. And, like, I would say this is, like, the the way that most people I think would do it if they're not doing Python. So you would use what's called like a dictionary or a hash map. So you could say you have your hash map, you call it balloon, and you have for every, you know, character in balloon you would have like a dictionary key and um obviously you would assign it um to have a value. And in this case, I'm assigning, initializing them all to zero. You can obviously do one if you want, but I always like indexing from zero. Okay. So you have your dictionary now set up, and of course, you can't have the same key twice in a dictionary, so that's why you have one of each, and you would handle that by doing a division by two. So now what you want to do is you want to iterate over your string so we can we can we can make this you know text instead here so you can see 
Uh, I guess we'll, we'll keep it shorter to be consistent. So we'll, so we'll say for C and S. So we're saying for each character in S, basically. Um, we're going to check if, you know, C is in balloon. And the same reason why, um, like, okay, not the same reason, but like doing this yields the same result. It's, it's just making the search faster. Um, and it, it's very marginal. Uh, but you know you want to shave shave as much time off as you can so you're going to check if that character is in balloon or ballon in this case and if it is then what you'll do is you'll increment you know that entry in your dictionary by one okay so that's that and then you would have like um you want to ha store like a min vowel and a min key because what we're going to now do is we're going to iterate over our dictionary and we want to get the minimum just like how we got the minimum before we want to get the minimum um, from our dictionary and there's there's different ways we can do this the first way I think I think I can I'll show it in two ways um, we'll handle it having two L's and two O's, two times the number of O's and two times the, the number of L's first and we'll do if statements to handle that and then after that we'll, we will handle it here first and we can just divide it by two here um, if we ever get a multiple of two we'll just divide it by two um, well not, not, not straight away you'll do it after the for loop Okay, so you have these values, and we're gonna say our min val. We're gonna say that's gonna be uh, float of inf, and we'll say our min key is just an empty string. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go for key value in balloon dot items, and what we'll do in here is we'll say if the the key that we're at. If it's um, equal to zero, this is our base case. So if it's equal to zero, then we're just going to return zero. Because if any of these entries is zero, that means you can't form one balloon at all. So this will just be our base case. So there's no point checking beyond this. Um, we'll just straight away return zero. And now if we now we want to set our min, right? So we're going to be this thing. We're iterating over all of the items. And we're going to say if the balloon key, so if that, that whatever value, whatever count it has now, if it's less than min val, and it will be for the first um, iteration, um, then what we're going to do is we're going to set the min val to be balloon of key. And we're going to say min key is equal to key. And this is our loop invariant. Our loop invariant is going to be that um, whatever the min val and min key will always be the minimum value in the like, so not really subarray, but the like iteration up to the uh, like iterator we're at, basically. Um, I'm not going to get into what loop invariants are, but if you understand that, then it might help a bit more. Um, so yeah, so after that, we've got our minimum value and we've got our um, minimum key, whatever key it is. So get the minimum value and the minimum key. Uh, let's also create a dictionary for storing the number the times each letter occurs in the text um, and now here we're gonna uh, update the dictionary when we see the character in the dictionary and we'll say in S yeah okay I mean okay it's fine in the text okay so now our next stage is we want to handle um, O's and L's because if the minimum value, first of all, we need to check if it's an O or L. If, it, if there's two L's, we're not going to return 
2. We're going to we're going to divide it by 2. So we're going to say if q is equal to o or q is equal to l then you return min val divided by 2 and you do the nth division as well. Okay? So that's our first um um you know case. And if not, right, if it's not an O an, or an L, so say if it's a B, so you have one B, in order for your, in order to have one return of balloon, you need to have whatever the minimum value, if it's not an O and L, the, all the O's and L's have to be at least double at least double um, the minimum value so and in this case we're gonna say if you know balloon of O of O is less than or equal to sorry greater or equal to, to min val times 2 and balloon of L is greater or equal to well, we don't actually need that uh, that's power min val times 2 then what you can do is just return you know min val if it's not, then what you need to do is you need to get whatever min val is, because in this case you're saying, okay, so if you're saying that you have one count of b, b is now the minimum, um, but you have, okay, say you have two b's, in order for you to have, uh, for everything, all the other characters apart from o and l, you need to have two of each at least, um, but you, uh, that means you also need four L's um, at, uh, at least, or you need uh, four O's at least. If it's not, so say for example you have three L's, then what you need to do is you just return, you know, the minimum of um, the, the value of O, or the, yeah, whatever value it has at O, divided by two, or the minimum of what it has at L divided by 2. So that should hopefully run. I might. Oh, I'm forgetting something, aren't I? Do I need to return 0 at the end? Um, I mean, it's safer to put return 0 at the end if none of this passes. Um, but, you know, I don't think we need that, but whatever, I think we'll put it anyway. It won't do anything. It, I don't think it will ever reach this case, so we could try, remove it. Because we handled zero. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's pretty much the same. The thing is, count is basically doing this, I think, anyway. This whole um, for loop iteration thing, it's just going to be O of N there. Um, so, I mean, this is the way you would do it in another language. Um, and, you know, Python's, uh, you, you get to understand pseudocode behind it. It's, it's sort of like pseudocode, but that that's basically the, the way of solving it. I hope that makes sense. Um, I should, I'll, I, like I said, I'll actually do the other example of how you can, instead of having to do this thing here, and handling, I guess we could try it a different way. So here we'll have um, O and L. Um, we'll just update this. So balloon of L is equal to balloon of L divided by 2, and we can do the same with balloon of O. divided by 2. So this literally um, is 
it's basically doing the same thing we did with the original account solution we did. Um, so now what you all you have to do is return the the minimum uh, the minimum value from from the dictionary. So you return min val. Because you've literally just updated it, and um, it's going to be the same running time. Oh, oof! Somehow it's a lot faster to do the other ways. Maybe it's just oh, I guess I guess it um, I guess doing this for some reason the vision makes it slower. I mean. You could do a, a left shift or a right shift. That would probably, well, it would be, um, it would just be a right shift to divide it by two. But yeah, we're not getting into efficiency too much. Uh, this video is getting a bit long, so I hope you all enjoyed that solution. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. If there's a question, leak code. I'm happy to do more of this, it's fun, and yeah, it was, I love things where you just have to do problem solving. So, see you in the next video.